Welcome back. Today on Dialed In DIY, we're making a whistle out of 100% repurposed materials. This highlighter whistle really does work and we'll show you that and more at the end of the video. But to get started, all you need for materials are really a highlighter and a piece of wooden dowel. To be completely honest, any hollow bodied pen will actually work for this purpose, but this time we're using a highlighter. So to get started, remove the inside and clean out that highlighter so you don't have any gunk left behind. Then I took the end cap, stuck it back in and marked the spot on the body where the end cap stops. I'm going back to that spot and cutting down about a quarter of an inch or 6.4 millimeters on that exact same mark. I'm going to be making a notch right in this very spot. Now moving just a little bit farther down the body of the pen, we're going to make an angled cut at about a 45 degrees cutting back towards that first cut. Once we have this rough notch kind of cut out there, we're going to go back with either a file, a sanding block, sandpaper or something, and we're going to clean this notch up. We want it to look like it does in the upper inset picture in the left hand corner. Once you have it cleaned up, it's going to look a little bit like an upside down triangle, except that bottom piece or the bottom point on that triangle is going to be a little bit rounded. To make sure we're getting the cleanest sound out of our whistle, we're going to go back and remove any of the little loose pieces. I'm taking a little knife here just to cut away any extra free debris, and then I'm going to file it down or sand it off just a little bit more to make it all smooth. I'll be making more videos in the future with this kind of a device, uh, maybe a little bit bigger and a little badder to get a louder sound out of it. So this becomes a great basic intro to prepare you for making some of those projects in the future too. I'm now going to cut a small piece of a dowel rod, which is actually just a piece of wood that's a little bit bigger than the inside of this end cap in terms of how big it is around, but I want it to be the exact length of the end cap itself so it'll line up perfectly with that notch. Then I'm going to take one edge on this and flatten it out just like you see in the picture here. So when I try to put it back in, it still doesn't quite fit, which means I need to sand it down a little bit more, but eventually it should fit snugly inside that end cap. You don't need to worry though, if your pen or highlighter doesn't have an end cap like this, you can actually just be using it straight in the end of the pen or the body of the uh, highlighter itself and it'll work just fine. I sanded this one just a little too much so I put a piece of tape on the rounded edge and it fits snug again. The correct position for the dowel is to come just up to that notch where it begins so that they are parallel. Also, the flat edge of the dowel needs to be on top. That also is gonna be parallel with the notch. Now I'm just pushing that piece of dowel back and forth till I get it just right and twisting it until it aligns just the way I want it to align. I'm going to go back and check the sound. And just remember if you don't cover the hole at the far end of the whistle, you're not going to get much sound out of it. There are several things you can do to adjust the pitch and volume when making whistles. Try shortening the barrel, making a bigger flat edge on the dowel, Try different highlighters and different pens. On this one, I made a much bigger gap on the dowel. And on this one, I made the insert completely different and cut the notch slightly different as well. It's pretty cool. You truly can make a whistle out of just about anything. Thank you for watching. Please press like and then subscribe. There will be more dialed in DIY to come.